All right, so I'm getting ready to crank the engine over for the first time um, without fuel or spark. Uh, so I'm not intending it to start right now. Uh, Got to get it cleaned off. Still got some old tidbits to tie up. Um, hoses. I got vacuum leaks still and stuff like that, but it's mostly together. Got the fuel line hooked back up here. It's not really tight, so it'll leak, but the uh, fuses are all disconnected here. So I've got one on, uh, it's actually a, a breaker right now. I'm, I'm borrowing because I don't have a two amp fuse yet. So it's a little push in, push out breaker. Slides into a fuse thing. Pretty cool, but they're like 15 bucks. So uh, too rich for me to do the whole system in. Uh, so basically, I've got just the Mega Squirt powered up right now. Fuel pump power goes here, so that's going to run the uh, ASD relay and the fuel pump relay. Give it, give those power. Um, got the fuel injector power and the uh, spark power for the coil. So I don't want any of those running right now. Uh, I just want to verify my crank sensor, make sure it's all wired in, set up right, and see how it goes. Video. Hopefully that was long enough for a sink. Alright, no RPM signal yet. Uh, checked over on the ECU. I do have uh, 5 volts between the ground, which is the shield, and the uh, the 5 volt reference that I'm sending to it. So hopefully 5 volts enough to run it. That's what I've what I've seen in the diagrams. I've seen other people run 9 volt regulators on it and I've also heard you can run 12 volt on it. So that may be a problem. Uh, I got this tooth logger open so we'll see if I can get any signal out of it. Big lot of nothing it looks like. Alright since I uh I have to come down here and check the sensor anyway. I thought I'd get some video of the crank position sensor. Uh, oops, I'm in the light. That's him right there. Here's the oil filter. Uh, it's just right above it, basically. Back side of the oil pan here. Um, the alternator hides up there for some reason. So I'm going to check the pin out on it and make sure I got it right. Got it on my hand here. It's a uh, orange is power, blue or uh, black with blue is ground, gray is signal. So I'm gonna give that a go and see if uh, I screwed that up earlier. All right. Well, here's what I did. I got blue to blue, white to yellow, green to black with green. So that does not match orange, gray, black with blue. So, gotta go see if I can find a better pin out. Alright, I'm back from under the car. Somehow I managed to swap the 5 volt and ground signals for the crank position sensor. I uh, found another pin out online, hooked it all up now. Heat shrinked it better than I had it before, so I guess that's karma for maybe not doing it right the first time. So, uh, I'm gonna try to crank it up and see if I have RPM now. Alright, you can see I do actually have RPM. It was kicking up to about uh, 175 while I was cranking. So, um, all is well there. I think uh, I'm ready to check out Spark. Uh, then check the timing. Then probably start it up once I get the fuel system finished up. And uh, we get some cooling in it. But it's ready to go after that.